Okay, now we're ready. <laughs> uh, this is I on. I see you're a bit of a perfectionist. Uh, no, this just helps you, helps me after put everything together. It's a good practice if you're using a few cameras. You could do this. You could do a lot of work with this. Mm, well, do you think where are we going with it? I'm, I'm, this is what I'm trying to do. At this moment, I'm just practicing. And YouTube. You know, um, there's a guy who I follow for a bit word he's quite he's like me but further on okay guy jamie smart okay. um he used to be very much in 10 lp now he's doing um um other stuff uh-huh but very um very successful he started off by doing stuff like this really and putting out cds he, uh -huh. he bought them which is in his mail list yes um 20 pounds a month yes and he interviewed top people okay but what he was doing he was by association, uh huh, and then are we, are we live? Uh, yeah, all the time. All oh, right, okay, <laughs> but this is fun. It's and fun. Um, yeah, he, and uh, they really helped me because he, he he opened up my eyes to other people in my profession, people I've never he heard of. And one guy I still work with through those CDs. Through the CDs. That was many. That was quite a few wow. years ago. But that's how he made. The, I think he made his name. Uh huh. And yeah, it's, it's a good way. It's yeah. It's like for me at this moment is the way of of not thinking about the business and not doing fitness. Uh but yeah, I like it. You're I, always, but you're always doing fitness. Yeah, you, you still, I, I think we met here to talk about business, uh, uh, fitness and business. Yeah, well. it's, all, yeah it's, all <laughs> it's, it's all connected. Yeah, you know? mind, and, mind and body. Yeah, and it's a good thing when you like something, mm -hmm. you're always doing this. And then, oh yeah, I love it. I mean, so I'm, that's why you, you are, you're always busy, yeah? What? Exactly. Which is not a bad thing. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, it's, um, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. I, I do something I love. I love it. I mean, uh -huh. when I know it's like I get a book yeah. on Amazon, shameless plug, and I'll get it and I'll go <laughs> like, am I reading this for pleasure or work? Uh -huh. And it's the same. And then I thought, I'm, I, this is fantastic. So do you think about your own book? No, not yet. Why not? Because the way I look at it, like this, the stuff I do, like NLP, hypnosis, um, other stuff, I never created it. Mm -hmm. So where do I get off trying to make out it's me? There's so much ego involved in maybe my profession. Okay. I, it's like trying to say um, you invented, I don't know, kettlebells. Push-up. Push push-up, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you can do a push-up very well, but you can't go, yeah, well, I, I created the push-up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how I look at what I do. I never created it. Um, I like to think of, I, I learn it, um, and I love learning more about it. Yeah, but, but, don't, but don't you think that if you put this in writing, mm -hmm. you'll get to some other people. It's like, it's always enough space for everyone. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean the, I'm always evolving. Uh -huh. And I'm at, the more I evolve, the more I'm going back to what I really am about. Um, things like, uh, I'm gonna say the word, um, like inner child. Yeah. People like had bad childhoods, um, or challenging ch childhoods. Mm -hmm. um, that's more my forte, really. A lot of it all goes back to them. Whether it's, um, you know, weight gain, addictions, uh -huh. anxiety. Normally you find there's been a, what I'd call an initial sensitizing event way back. Okay. And that's something uh, i done some i done some reading on your website. Uh -oh. you, you can just, what's your website? Is it the push, push one? Beautiful Mind? That's, that's beautiful, the main one. That's the main one. I've done some reading there. Is it, is it called like age regression, isn't it? Or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, so what's that? What, what's uh, age regression? Through hypnosis, uh -huh. or um, you can do a thing like a timeline, um, taking you back to a, a certain part of your childhood. Okay, and why uh, it's important? What's why? why? Yeah. Because, well, right, we're going right for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why is it, in my, in my, in my humble opinion, okay. there's part of me, this is all a metaphor, a story, so as a, yes. your subconscious mind, there's a part that maybe has not, um, that's still kicking off. Okay. So for me, um, I can only speak for myself, um, when I was younger, I had some pretty challenging times in my childhood. Mm -hmm. So in adult life, at times I would act quite childlike, like with authority. If okay. I go, I go like, oh, or I'd um, in relationships, I'd start getting very um, anxious or scared. Uh -huh. I thought, well, there's no reason. I mean, I'm at that times in my thirties, yeah. thinking, and I realised the work I've done is that there was part of me that's not grown up. Like a, a certain thing happened to me when I was maybe 11. So uh -huh. at times I'd act like 11 year old. Okay. Um, and that part fascinates me. I mean, it's a, it's a metaphor. So, it's not as though I'm possessed by 11 year old, yeah, but yeah. there's part of me that still was living back then 
and I have a very chill. I yeah. So 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 what you can do about this is that can you can you get back there? And yes. Uh, well, how 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 are right. you doing this? Well, through hypnosis. Um, because okay. the subconscious. Because this is your main thing at this point, isn't it? Uh, or I do hypnosis. So uh, what's it? Because I've what's got, the main thing? I I I have check on you again, and it's oh, like right. NLP, uh, uh -huh. and then you've uh, got. Hypnosis is advanced clinical hypnosis. Then there's an addiction consul counselor, 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 and also the eye integration movement therapy. Yeah. So what's the? It's okay. So it's four things about you. Probably much more. They're all linked. They're all linked. They're all okay. linked. I mean, to me, I use whatever works um, to help people change for for, for better. Okay. Um, I'm really known for NLP or, uh -huh. or actually new code NLP. That's my passion. New code. New code. Where um, and my. It's kind of a newer version of NLP. Um, yeah. Do you know much about NLP? I'm kind of. I don't want to go into it too much because it's boring. Yeah, but this is, how does it work? This, what's, what's the okay? If you expa explain me in two words, like in two sentences. In a sentence. Yeah. The study of excellence. The study of excellence. So. So uh, yeah. That's it's, it. It's, it's really good. People are modeling excellence. So if I wanted uh -huh. to be a better kettlebell, I would, I would look at you. I would study you, uh -huh. and I would act as if I was you. And then by doing that, yep. I'd, you I'd become... get better. Okay. Like when we were little boys, um, maybe I'd be watching a, a football player or an, an athlete. Uh -huh. When you see little boys play football, yeah. if they're playing on their own, they're like, mm -hmm. but then they go, and you know when they start going, I'm messy. Yeah. And then they start narrating, commentating, uh -huh. they go, and he's got the ball and he does this. Yeah. They, they start playing better. Oh, yeah. And then but... they score a goal, they'll celebrate like Messi. That's, uh -huh. in my view, that's like NLP. They're, they're acting if they're like Messi, okay. they become better. Okay, so it's a little bit different understanding because when I think NLP, I think about the, the gestures and stuff. Is it, you know, the, the way how you speak, the way how you yeah. behave? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, so if I want to be more confident, mm -hmm. Well, I, I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute about confidence. I don't believe in confidence. But <laughs> I, okay, no. that's, that, that's a good um, one. I believe in being uh, <laughs> curious. Okay. Like if I start acting, if, if I put my physiology act more confident, uh -huh. the subconscious mind goes, "Oh, he wants to be confident. We better be confident." Okay. So it's acting as if that's the NLP. Uh -huh. So um, it's the subconscious mind's very playful. Okay, so you. So it, yeah, so I think NLP um, has got a very bad rap. It's not understood correctly. Um, people try to over intellectualize it. Uh -huh. um, I've been blessed to be trained by one of the guys, the, the top guys created, in the created it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you've got the highest highest qualification in Scotland, isn't it? You are the, yeah. the top. Me top and another guy. guy. Yeah. And another guy. Yeah. Okay, um, we're not gonna no, talk no, about him here. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. He, he actually helped me an awful lot. And, okay. uh, but yeah, anyway, that's NLP for you. Um, always uh, so clashes of egos. So it's basically a, a not like a tool for you to, to help people. And then, yeah. so let's say, let's say we. I've always got in mind one person. It would be easier probably to talk about one specific person. Mm -hmm. And then because we are in a stu fitness studio and I'm kind of... I know. Yeah, you know that. Well, I'm not working out though. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're not going to work out. We're going to work out our brains a little bit. Yeah. So you've got, imagine this person. Uh, there's a lady. She comes here. She is 45. Mm -hmm. And she's a little bit overweight. Mm -hmm. And she wants to lose weight because she's going for her holidays. Yeah. Uh, Hopefully not next month, but in six months. So it gives us a little bit of time. Yeah. Uh, what you do? For what I do? Yeah, what you do. So let's say because you, you do also things like that, isn't it? I, I, yes. I mean, a few years ago, I was, I was known for being a weight loss specialist. Okay. And um, that was uh, challenging, a lot of fun. Uh -huh. And I'm, I, I, I found out what was, I found out what was going on. Yes. It's, it's getting people to be committed. Mm -hmm. A lot of people want to come to, would come to me and say like you do it, yes. And it's like, well, it's like I'm not a surgeon, I'm not a bariatric surgeon. I'm not gonna give you a. It's not gonna be yes, just, yeah. Because the, there's old the old joke I used to say, yeah, I can make you lose weight. I'll just tie you to a tree. Uh -huh. You know, you will lose weight. Yeah. However, it's about enabling people to see um, what was going on. What I found, mm -hmm. I can't speak for myself. It was about a lot of it self esteem. Okay. Ninety-five percent of the conditions I work with, mm -hmm. it's all about self-esteem. It's how people feel about themselves. So people not feeling well about themselves. Yeah. So they'll use then... something outside to uh -huh. feel better. So from an addiction counselling background, mm -hmm. um, somebody might take heroin, alcohol, 
cannabis, cocaine, or food or to food. feel better. So you're putting food in the same category, like yeah. or sugar. On the sugar, okay. Sugar. So it goes straight in. Yeah, because I've never had somebody going to me, Andy, look at the size of me. I uh-huh. can't stop eating cabbage and carrots. <laughs> I've never had that yet. <laughs> it's, and I always go, I bet it's the carbs. They go, they go like, how do you know? <laughs> I'm going, well, it has to be, because you're getting a, a mm-hmm. hit, the dopamine. Okay, and then the it affects they feel your good. brain. And, and, I don't, and sugar's a very, it's not a very good drug, because you have to keep taking it. It's not like if I took heroin, which I'm not going to, by the way. Yeah. But if, you, if I took heroin, I would, what they call gouge, mm-hmm. I'd be out for 30 minutes. Yeah. But sugar, I take something and it's about a 10 second, and then uh-huh. I keep eating. I keep eating. Okay. It's not as though we get some Hagen dazs or Ver and Jerry's to be on. Mm-hmm. And then I go, oh. <laughs> I go, um, um, um. And I have to keep going. Yeah, because it's not, it's not very, uh, what's I'm looking for? So how quick you can get addicted to sugar like I think or maybe making this question a little bit different how fast you can break the habit so let's Quite say it's tough it's tough yeah I mean there, there's um right I mean I'm, I'm always learning yes there was a great uh, research done um, and I can't remember who it was it was one of the either Stanford or Harvard or something like that mm-hmm. they, they got um, rats yes in a lab and they had two water feeders and then they had uh, one with just water and uh-huh. one with sugared water. Okay. Once the rats started getting a taste of the sugared water, uh-huh. apparently they were fighting just right to the death to get to it. Really? Because their brains were getting overly excited. However, so I was, yeah, yeah, I used yeah, to confess yeah. this a lot. Uh-huh. The latest studies is that if the rats were isolated, mm-hmm. they would get very addicted to the sugared water. Okay. But if you took the rat, uh-huh. And put it back in with his pack or his tribe. Uh huh. You wouldn't need it. Okay. So there's a lot. Each year, there's so much more and more research going on, causing about addictions, and I think a lot of us do like we like to be part of a tribe, we like to be supported. Uh huh. But self-esteem again. So um, that's what I love about what I do. I'm always learning. The day I think I know it, I don't. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, I, yeah, and there's yeah. a lot of people. Like... Get, so. You know, maybe in a year's time, this will be totally like so. It's, yeah, this guy's fucking bullshit. Yeah, but at this time, at this, at time, this moment, it's, and, it, yeah. this is what you think. And yeah. So, back to, to your, about weight loss and sugar. They use somebody that feels bad inside mm-hmm. internally looks for something external, and then be good. So whether it's like um, so, what what's the the main things people not feeling good about themselves? Like what's happening is. Can we use the age regression thing and see back? Yeah, I've done a lot of good work with that. Um, okay. As in maybe there's been a specific event. Um, <clears throat> I mean, one client I work with, mm-hmm. in fact, when I first started, it was one of my big successes. Mm-hmm. Um, she couldn't stop eating chocolate and she was a very intelligent woman. And, we're going, and she goes, um, she thought it was all about nutrition. Okay. And I said, let's talk about your childhood and she uh-huh. goes and she went oh, oh. my mum she thought she was a very weak willed girl mm-hmm. but she was very high up in a certain organisation so okay. I'm thinking there's no you know it's yeah. you're not a, a shrinking violet but she goes oh I remember I was in my playroom and my mum said um, bad girls get fat so right, right it, in, it was, what we call it a limiting belief. Uh-huh. However, and she goes, well, that's it. My mother told me that. And, uh, and I'm thinking, but, you're, uh, but I said, you're quite feisty. And she went, yeah. right enough. <laughs> and she remembered, and what it was is that she used to eat to um, piss her mum off. Okay. Right? So it doesn't have to do with her being like, yeah. but she carried it on into later life so when she was in the boardroom and she forgotten about this yeah she, she thought why do I why can't I stop eating like her thing was muffins okay so when she was in the boardroom and she was having a a battle uh-huh. with somebody else and, yeah. the, and when she got stressed or she got that she started eating yes now she thought it's because she was weak it wasn't it was her subconscious going I'll show you so so, so when we work that so out, you, how, how you work it up? So right, you, you, you know this thing already. Yeah. So she, and she went, I get it. So what I did, and this was not even with um, deep hypnosis, it was just more like, you know, close your eyes, and she imagined uh-huh. 
her younger self. Now, okay. it's all about hindsight. Okay. Yeah. Imagine <laughs> that, say, um, the twi- in 20 years' time, mm-hmm. the, uh, you, you, the twi- so me, I'm, th- I'm 50. Yeah. I know I don't look it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I would, say, I would say She's, 60. Yeah, so uh, that is like, hard life. Just, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, imagine if the 70 year old Andy came in here. Mm-hmm. I mean, Andy, life's great. Yeah. You know, you're retired, you've got a great family, blah, blah. blah. Um, you're, in, you're, you're healthy, you survive. Yeah. Well, I'd be skipping out here because I know, even today, if I had a really challenging day, uh-huh. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't bother because I know that in tw- that you're I survive. Be fantastic, yeah. So, yeah, I know, yeah. So nothing would bother me. Mm-hmm. Using that premise, we can go the other way and go back okay. and use what I know now to the younger person young, mm-hmm. and say, life's okay. And then once that part of me uptakes that learning, uh-huh. it should all come together. Oh. <coughs> and I see it. That's, that's, so this woman, that's really, really interesting. She thing. said to this, her younger self, like, uh-huh. it's okay, you're fine. And she, this is where it gets to be a bit kind of new age here. She kind of reparented herself. Okay. So she became the mother or the big sister to her. Uh huh. And it got very emotional. She kind of went, "You're okay." Uh huh. Okay. And, and then the next time, this was two days later. She's in the boardroom. Uh huh. And at the end, everybody started laughing at her, and she was like, "What's so funny?" <laughs> uh-huh. And they all pointed, and underneath her, there was this plate of muffins. Okay. She hadn't touched them. She never touched them. Because she didn't have to, because when she used to eat the muffins, she was, it was like the younger her, the six year old. But she, was, she, she wasn't there anymore. anymore. Wow. Because she made wow. peace. And that was, so that maybe is like the, maybe the best example of my um, view of weight loss. Uh-huh. When you make peace with yourself, mm-hmm. you don't need the food to feel better. When you feel good and, yeah. Because wow. I find um, I, I've got another great technique. Like a book. Okay. Now, this is not from NLP. This, I think, is from... So Cagn- not- See, it doesn't okay, matter. another tool. Yeah, another, another tool. tool, yeah. And I, to journal. And write down how something about five good things about themselves every night. Uh-huh. And build up to f- ten. I do this in the morning. Great. I, I do this At night, it's good because it goes in. So before you go to bed, you write okay. good things. Now, some people go, well, that's easy. Yeah. However, somebody with low self-esteem, I've had people going... I couldn't write one th- good thing. I'm saying not one good thing. No. Uh-huh. No. In fact, I'm not going to do that. Wow. I've had some clients, I'll go, could you write five good things? And then they, I mean, I've talked about, I'm talking about some very successful mm-hmm. people in business. Yeah. And they go, silence. They go, I'm not. I, I'm struggling. But I said, I bet you could write the whole book and how bad you are. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's natural. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. No. I said, there's some people out there that could write all day how good they are. Yeah. And they're like, really? And that... So I found with weight loss, mm-hmm. if they wrote, the, the more people journaled, okay. the less, the more weight they lost. Because you're building up how, how they feel good, or oh, their self-esteem. Uh-huh. So the idea is, if, like... But it needs to be a book, because... Uh, I'd I say really, a nice book. I really believe that you have to write it down. It's like it doesn't yeah. work for there's me. There's a on the, the pain. Yeah, there's something. In commitment. It, isn't it? Yeah. There's, yeah, there's commitment. But you can do the same on the mobile phone, and it doesn't work that well. Like, you, you have these journals now, you, you know? Exactly. And, but I don't, I don't like them. Well, right? well, that's so funny, because yeah. we're talking to uh, one of our work about Kindles. Uh-huh. I've, we both said I can't read Kindles anymore, because there's something kinesthetic about getting the book. Mm-hmm. And I love reading, but the... No, can, yeah, the Kindle, I can't, uh-huh. I can't use it. Okay. It's just... Weird. Oh that's well, all, that's all me better. I, I used to be this way. Like I, I, I thought that I cannot read it because it lo- loves book. And then I thought is you have to have a book. But then for something, if you want to just check on something, mm-hmm. and then some of the books are you know you, you want to know about the book, and you you're reading this for half an hour. Yeah. So you I kind of screening through, and if I like it, uh, it's oh. okay. If I don't like it, I can just give it back and stuff. And Kindle is perfect for this. Interesting, because another thing which um, I do is I think called like hypno reading, photo reading. Okay. And same idea, you get the book and you kind of go like, you just flick through it. Uh-huh. And then if you get the gut instinct, should I read this? Yeah, buy it. If not, put it back. I, I've been always doing the same so way. you're natural. Yes. You're yeah. natural. Yeah, and I think it's like, and I always start from the back. I don't know why. 
I, I like I read in here on the uh -huh. back, uh -huh. and then just basically just do this for like I don't know 20 seconds. That's photo reading. And then suddenly I think this is it. I want to keep it. I want to buy it or so. So F funny. Do you know that apparently they say read the first paragraph uh -huh. and the last paragraph, and that's the book. And then that's <laughs> the rest is <laughs> what, whatever is there. Yeah. I used to do that. I used to go to Borders Bookshop when uh -huh. I had it. Um, how sad am I? But I go out on a Saturday night and I just read, look at books. Yeah. And I realise if I, if I, you know, I just look at it and go, should I? Yeah, I'd buy it. Uh -huh. If not, leave it. So the same with the Kindle. For me, it's it's instead of going out to the shop, I can download. Mm. I don't know you, because you can check the few first pages on the on the Kindle from ah, the Kindle shop. Right. So you've got like I don't know ten fr front pages and some at the oh, back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can just sit there. And then you can read 20, 30 books within like half an hour. Like basically see what's, what they are. And then you're choosing the one which you like. That's why I like it. Uh -huh. See, that's the way I'm going as well. Like with 40 readings. I've got all those books. Uh -huh. um, so I've got a lot of reading to do. <laughs> and it's good though. But yeah. I love to learn. Okay, let's, let's, so, get, yeah, so, let's get back. So we've got so journal. Yeah. Journaling. Journaling, is, yeah. So again, people go... They want, they, want, they want all the sexy stuff. They want all the like, I don't know, like take this pill and um, yeah. I'll just... <laughs> zap sleep you wake up and you'll be no it's not gonna happen it's uh it's like anything worthwhile it takes time it's a process and, and journaling every day um when i i do journal it's quite amazing if i write certain things like to do uh -huh. my goals and forget then, about it i go back and go i'm ticking them off i'm going I did that I did that uh -huh. i mean i'm not talking even big things just just that uh, even like oh i need to get a, a certain item of clothing or get this done meet this person Forget about it. Uh -huh. Go back to a month. It's done. Okay, and it's good feeling when you're taking this out, isn't it? Oh yeah. I do this every day. So every day I'm trying to find five things I want to do the same right. day, and then I taking them off, and it's really nice feeling at the end of the day that you manage to do five of them. But sometimes it's simple things. I don't know. I don't know. Hoover the yeah. Hoover something, and it's the first thing, and I'm ready. Yeah, I've got first first thing done, and then I got second thing interview with you. Yeah, hooray! And then I've got another five or another three, and I'm done for today. And it's it's it's. That's good. I like that. Yeah, I mean, I do that usually for at night. I like did did uh -huh. or even for the week. I've got to do this, I've got to do that. Okay, so you've got the week one. I, I yeah. prefer daily because I notice when I've got too much and I'm checking my list. It's twenty things. And it's like oh my god, and I'm not even close. This is Monday, Tuesday, and I still got twenty. It's it's mm -mm. it I'll kills me. A classic one. Yeah. And I got taught by. Uh, I was working with a fantastic coach in London. Mm -hmm. Seamus plug Amanda Kennedy okay. or Amanda yeah or Watts because she, she's got married okay anyway she had this big whiteboard in her office okay. and she'd write down like the clients I got to see or the clients I want to work with yeah her office got decorated uh -huh. for three weeks yeah so she took the board the whiteboard out okay and she was in those three weeks her whole appointment started plummeting her and oh wow the phones and the emails just went dead uh huh. And then she, when she put the whiteboard back in, it she went was up. on the. I and I do wow. that. Maybe there's too much information, but I have it in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. So I have a whiteboard. I'm going like people I want to work with, um, maybe seminars I want to do, or mm -hmm. people I want whatever. And I put it in different coloured uh, pens because okay. that excites the brain. Yeah, yeah. Now right. just with it being there, it's going in because you're seeing this all the time. All the time. Um, wow. So do you think people can use it for the weight loss as well? Yeah, write right. down their goals. Um, um, a great one is maybe a picture of how they want to look, maybe of or how they looked. Okay. And it's saying to the brain, it's saying that's where we're going. Okay. So it gives them something to work towards. Wow. Um, but saying all that with weight loss, for me, it's working with the self-esteem. Mm -hmm. The more somebody feels better about themselves, they will challenge. Mm -hmm. So again, see, I... See, I've talked from personal experience, say I was feeling bad. Yes. I'd go and buy Hagen dazs Belgian chocolate ice cream. My favourite thing. Mm -hmm. Because, but I know as soon as I eat it, I'm going to feel crap the next day. Yes. And I beat myself up. I'm going to, my guts are going to feel crap. And, because I'm using something external to feel good inside. But if I feel good about myself, I'd go, then, why would I eat that? I would eat something like a nice, um something healthy so, yeah 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 yeah. and then because that's a better choice and then next day you will feel much much better yeah. about it. what about because obviously I'm trying to get into some exercising as well because mm -hmm. for me it's really important to also do some exercising when you uh, 
can you substitute uh, substitute that but eating like you have a ice cream and instead of that uh-huh. you're making I don't know 10 squats would that work wouldn't it be the same thing in your brain happening or is bad thing? I would say, well, wait, that's, that's, uh, <laughs> wait, wait, just, that's, yeah, yeah, I'm just, I just, just, just again, a thought in my, in my head. So rather than eating ice cream, do 10 squats. For example. Good luck with that. If you do that, <laughs> you'll be living in Bel Air. Okay. Because um, that's, uh, that'd be the, that, to me, see, that's like our different maps of the world. Me, I'd be like, I'd see 10 squats as a punishment. Okay. When the ice cream's the reward. If somebody, anybody I used to work with, you said, right, you've got a choice of doing 10 squats or eating oh, a tub ice cream. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. think it'd be a good business model. Uh-huh. It'd be ideal. Um, I bet, again, um, the best... Uh, our, our, our good friend, Rannick. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. I did, would have Rannick here as well. You better have him than me. <laughs> Next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... I got him to, I, I used to do this uh, weight loss group. Yes. And I got him to come and talk to them. Mm-hmm. And so I really, as he is, you know, he's a yeah. fitness expert, etc., etc., uh-huh. all around good guy. And I said, right, he's going to tell you how to lose weight. And they're like, oh, and he's, they're waiting for him to come out, so like, you know, insanity or something really. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he goes, are you, and he said, well, and he goes, <laughs> and they're like, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And he went, Okay, here it goes. This will get this will get you to lose weight. You'll get toned up. You'll feel great. And they're like, oh yeah, yeah. And he goes, walk <laughs> twice a day uh-huh. for ten minutes. Okay. And they're like, and he went, no, that's it. This is it. Okay. And they're like, no. And he goes, oh yeah. And they're like, no, it's too easy. And he goes, exactly. He goes, okay. I told you to do something like, you know, do something crazy join a gym and beast yourself twice a day you're not going to do it uh-huh. but if you said two walks a day for 10 minutes it's easy mm-hmm. now funny enough I did a lot of walking in the month of March okay and already, I was walking a lot in the Pentlands and stuff in Edinburgh mm-hmm. already I, I started feeling good mm-hmm. oh, people going like, you've lost a lot of weight yeah. I didn't notice it it's just by, by, by walking. just walking but, it's, but I was toning up um, I went down about two sides of my jeans Awesome. Just by walking. And it wasn't hardcore. I'm not talking about going up mountains. It was just walking. Uh-huh. And wow. I think it was, it was easy to do. But if you said to me, right, Andy, um, are you going to do a, a, some a class? Cross- uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds well, one of these crazy things. I'm going to do it. Uh-huh. But then after this walking at some point, mm. you might feel that you want to do something more. Isn't exactly. It? Because you feel much better about yourself. It's the habit. And then... But once I, I tone up, and I'm getting, you know, and I, I, I see and feel the benefits. I'll okay. start going into other things. Uh-huh. Um, but it's like with cooking. I I uh-huh. used to eat terribly. Yeah. And then I was told again, sorry, it's my <laughs> runner. <laughs> and he goes, um, he goes, right, cook a meal. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh. I mean, I used to be the guy in the supermarket, like all the, what I call Good. the sad bastard meals. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> this is ready, ready yeah, to go. Ding, ding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm wondering why I was putting all this weight on. And um, and now, uh, f- for two months, he goes, do it for two months and mm-hmm. co- cook a meal. And that mine was uh, turkey chili. And okay. it was courgettes. Now, after a while, all I oh, do now is cook. Okay. And in a year, yeah. when I go to the supermarket now, I can't believe that I used to buy microwave meals. It fr- it fr- I'm going, I can't believe oh, the boring. crap I used to eat. But now, yeah. every... Every, every two days, I just, it's like, you know, I'm like a Pavlov's dog. I just go like, um, chopping board, chop, 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 bang, bang, bang. And I'm eating what we call, I mean, it's like clean. Uh-huh, like clean, yeah, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not putting any sugar in it, I'm not putting any additives in it. And this is the best way. It's not diet. It's like, it's just eating yeah, well. It's just eating well, yeah. And, but the weight fell off me. Awesome. I mean, no, I mean, you know, I mean, because I've been nice for a lot bigger. But also, I felt so much better. Uh-huh. And um, my mood improved. Mm-hmm. My mood improved. There is something like brain and gut connection. It's, you probably Do you realize that the brain, the, the stomach has its own intelligence? Are they calling the second brain? Third brain. A third brain. Where is the second one then? I should know that. Well, <laughs> well conscious, unconscious, and then gut. Okay. Apparently, the gut has got the same intelligence of a, of a cat. Wow. I've got a pretty smart cat. So, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> more, more So it's. it's Basically, when you eat bad food, mm-hmm. and then you, your gut can 
send the signals to your brain that it's something wrong or how it how is how this works what, what's happening I don't know about that. I mean, as I say, I can only go like uh-huh. my experience. I know when we did a lot of hypnosis courses. Okay. And so, you, and like teach people, um, people's stomachs start like getting like, you know, like, like it's like everybody wants to eat, uh-huh. but it's actually, now this is about out there, but it's okay. like their, their guts communicating. Wow. You get a gut feeling. No, it's some, yeah, okay. So when you get stressed, mm-hmm. you're getting this feeling in your guts, like. Yeah, well, it's like. Um, and can this affect your your mood as well. So let's totally. Yeah. Oh, I mean, but can you can it goes other way around? Let's say you are like unconscious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You are, make something to your gut that you start feeling like distance, and then you start recognizing this as a something of I'm getting stressed. I don't know why. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I know that you. No, as I know you, you like your adrenaline. Like uh, your, your more yeah, bite, yeah, your more yeah, bites, yeah. etc. Now. Um, it's like, say, there was a, a cliff edge there. Uh-huh. Now, the nearer I go to it, yeah. I'll start getting like, oh, uh-huh. I get... Because it's my subconscious going like, what are you doing? Get away from there. Uh-huh. If I look over, I'll be like, oh, now, adrenaline junkies... No, I I'm, I'm feel actually much better when I close that. Yeah, that's because like, <laughs> so, yeah. like, you're one of those guys that gets on a motorbike and goes, uh-huh. yeah, I can't. Yeah. I, I, I like... I always go with the speed limit. Just well, of course you for do. all those friends for, 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 yeah. friend is watching for any loathing borders please yes. to Scotland you're always going to love it but, but so if I go near the cliff edge I'll uh-huh. get like that mm-hmm. as I step back it decreases you relax because my subconscious mind is giving me a signal saying what are you doing uh-huh. it's like um, I'll get a gut feeling mm-hmm. or a subconscious signal that if I feel something's not right okay. it's not right and that to me is how it's all about genius some of the the geniuses of our time, whether mm-hmm. it's like, you know, Beethoven, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. They go in their gut feeling. Or look at was, Richard Branson. I was reading, oh yeah, I, I was reading something about the, the flora. It's basically, you've got a lot of bacteria yeah. in, your, in your gut. And basically, those bacteria are getting used to, to the food you're eating. Mm-hmm. So let's say you eat really bad food. And after some time, this bacteria in your gut it start really craving for this food. Yeah. So if you're not getting it, you start getting feeling, and then this goes feeling. into the yeah. Yeah. I mean, I got um, ill uh, in February. Okay. So after you eating very cleanly, very commas, uh-huh. or no, you know, not even crap. Um, Hopefully, nobody, my mother will never see this. <laughs> my <laughs> bless know. her, my bless her. <laughs> but I, I'd run out of food. Mm-hmm. So I was loving Moan, yeah. and I was, had the flu, and I couldn't move. Okay. So, and you know, I'm going through the, 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 my cupboards eating stuff, like, like nothing, you know, this can of what, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my mom came up, and she bought me, she goes, oh, you need, um, you need some toast. And I'm thinking, no, no, I don't. No. So, bless her. She turned up and she got the Sainsbury's and uh-huh. she bought me a toaster, bread, white rolls, um, crisps, <laughs> um, everything I've been avoiding. And of course, because I love my mum so dearly, I wasn't going to go, Mum, how dare you? Uh-huh. How dare you feed me your son? Uh-huh. So she went away and to things like even canned tomato soup and baked beans, okay. and butter, I started eating it. Okay. I felt even worse. <laughs> My stomach bloated. Uh-huh. But what really uh, was the biggest learning for me, mm-hmm. I started craving bread in two days. Wow. Like I was getting it's up on, in the middle of the... It only two days. Two days, wow. bang. And I, was, I, I remember I was in bed and I'm going like, oh, I need the toast. <laughs> and I was just like, all it was was um, brown bread, but... Mm-hmm. and the butter and I was eating it and eating it thinking wow. it. and then the, uh, I couldn't eat the crisps though or the I just felt so ill uh-huh. but over, in a period of two weeks I was actually buying bread daily and my it affected my guts was like getting, you know it, I started bloating uh-huh. I started feeling sluggish in two weeks uh-huh. and, I, and I had to and I was like whoa now so I know that my brain is just loving the carbs uh-huh. but the feeling horrible yeah. Horrible. Um, so, this is quite good. So I can't believe people eat like that. I see like that. Yeah, but they, they don't know the other side, I think. Because yeah. you, you saw it already and you know and how bad you, you felt. Yeah. And I mean, I lost weight. I mean, I, um, I, I used to be quite um, 
overweight as a child mm-hmm. and that's something we can talk about later on is how I had a significant event and I used food to feel yeah. better so, so I have to watch my so what's your diet now like what, what's you trying to avoid we know it's like it's bread well, and, and all the I, I really try to avoid as much as I can um, processed food okay so the more I cook at home the better so um, I eat um, I can't believe I'm telling you this because like, <laughs> like <laughs> I'm, I'm quite um be, I eat very basic. Okay. Food doesn't excite me, and I'll explain that later on. Because mm-hmm. again, that's how I was brought up. Yeah. Okay. But um, I usually start the day, um, and this is by no means healthy, but I'll have a shake. Okay. So it'll be like skim milk, lots of strawberries, protein. Oh, fantastic. Um, what else? I put in it um, kale, uh-huh. um, a few other things. So it's not the best, but for me, because I still have quite a. It's fills you up and it's it nice. gives and you all the nutrients you need, yeah? Oh, I still love ice cream. This uh-huh. is my ice cream now because it's the frozen strawberries. Yeah. So and, and, the, and my taste buds get used to it, but I'm getting the protein to me. And because of the way I work, it keeps me going. Yeah. Then I'll have, I make a turkey chilli, so turkey breast. Uh-huh. Um, good, as the best I can find. Yeah. Minced. And then courgettes, um, peppers, brown rice. Wow. Seasoning. Really that, I'm like yeah. a dog that keeps me going for two days I can, I can feel the taste it's, of it it's really nice it's very um, I got my um, my, my um, I got that metabolic testing done uh-huh. by our good friend uh, Stephen Duncan mm-hmm. shameless plug again now again yeah. I was very sceptical uh-huh. um, but he said don't eat red meat and a few other things I shouldn't eat and he thought I had um, what's the in your stomach the, the, the mm-hmm. bacteria See, this is live. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, it, and it makes you yeah, crave yeah. sugar. Okay, so so I, I I got he got me in this diet. So I had to stop, and you felt much better. The so weight, but the weight felt. I went from a thirty-seven uh-huh. inch waist, yeah, to a thirty. Wow! In six months, and the great, no, not the great thing, but for me, yeah. I didn't exercise at all. Uh-huh. Which I know is not a bit, that's not a good thing, I'm not saying yeah. that, but just to prove my point, and I did not diet. Okay. I, I, I stuffed myself with the right food. Awesome. And, yeah. it, the, and when my body, it, obviously my body likes that food. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know there's are some, I don't know your views of metabolic testing or all that, but for me, you know, it's a bit scientific for me, yeah. but it worked. If, if it's worked, yeah. And then again, I could say, well, actually, I just cut out a lot of the, the crap. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> but it, it, what I'm saying to, uh, to a lot of my clients is, look, I did it without, I didn't do any beast, I mean, I didn't do any exercise. So imagine, um, imagine how good I'd be if I started did. exercising. Okay, I'm really interested with how to deal with your mum. Because everyone got this mum around, you know? It's like, you, you might be on the best diet ever. Mm-hmm. You might eat this way. But you've got a lot of friends who are kind of, who will feed you some... Some crap. How you? What you doing with it? Because I know this. This must be a problem, isn't it? I, I've got the same problem. Uh, um, good question. Because um, I've got some friends who are uh, got your, your kids, and so they're saying, well, it's easy for you, Andy. Are there any techniques from your experience that you can you can apply? Uh, I know it's easy to say change your friends. Uh, no. Well, tell them. Oh, uh, this is yeah. a very cla- this is a classic NLP okay. uh, technique, and I don't I don't like that because everything's NLP's techniques. It's not. It's that's yeah. uh, okay. But I used to do this thing called the yuck anchor. The yuck anchor. So what I do, I would um, get a bar of chocolate. See, see people. Oh, I love chocolate. Uh-huh. And then I'd pr- play this game. That yeah. pretend I'd say right in this cup. Uh-huh. What 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 repulses you? They go oh I'm sick and um, what other food do you like? Oh liver. Let's see. Imagine right, we're putting liver and sick yeah. in this bucket. It's like one of those Japanese endurance games. Uh huh. And what else? And then for sometimes for women especially um, like old men's toenails. Oh no. <laughs> then I go pretend to drink it. Uh huh. And they go like. And then what I'd do, <laughs> I'd, when I'd go like, so if say it was you, I'd go like, pretend that, and then I'd get the chocolate and, uh-huh. and, and, and go like, that, uh-huh. that, and you'd be close your eyes and drink it. And be, then what happened, that would cross over, that when they, they'd smell chocolate, because it's going straight into the limbic system, yeah. it goes straight into your factory, it goes straight in, so if when you smell grass, it uh-huh. takes you back to summer. Oh, wow. Or maybe the perfume of your... Can I smell it again? Like, yeah, that's clever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is like... Yeah. It's ridiculous. Put it away. But, and 
it it works. So I've wow. had some clients, with, um, like some one woman had, it was like white bread. And uh-huh. I imagine that I said on the white bread, there was, um, with her actually got the bread, uh-huh. I imagine that I said there was, um, I don't know if this for adults, but it was pubes and such. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and she, and then, but she stopped eating bread. So I used to dine out on this a lot. I used to be known for this technique. Mm-hmm. However, let's be honest. Yes. It worked for a while. Uh-huh. But then the people would stop eating chocolate. Then eat no, buns. Some, find something different. Yeah. So again, this is what I'm saying. In weight loss, we have to drill down and find out what's really going on. All yeah. up here, yeah, I could make you, I could put you off chocolate. That's fine. Well, that's but if we don't satisfy what's going on or... You just need to understand why it's happening. Yeah, you know? then... That to me is weight loss. When we find out what's exactly going on and you feel better about yourself. So, see, so you're saying I was in somebody's house. Yeah. I mean, if I knew that if I um, ice cream, I'm going to feel really, really bad, uh-huh. why would I? It's like saying, Andy, if I yeah. some heroin, well, no thanks, because, yeah, I'll feel great tonight, but, but tomorrow yeah. I won't be, you know. Awesome. Yeah. And yeah. that's how I look at it. Now, that takes. And I know we, it's really bad to doing this at this moment, but what I can see that there's no battery in the camera anymore. But we need to get this go. So we need to, can we just take, take, take time, five minutes, Fine. and we'll start again. Thank okay? you. Great. <laughs>